ever wondered what the ideal team looks like for someone who's made it to the top? Hello Alexers, and welcome back to another fascinating Sunday motivational video. Today we're giving you a glimpse behind the curtain into the way wealthy individuals structure their inner circle and network. The goal of this video is for you to understand that success is such a long journey, no one can walk it alone. You need to build your team. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. If you're not subscribed yet, you're missing out. We've established that there's no such thing as a completely self-made individual, that you need people to help you build, folks you can rely on to push you forward. That's why today's topic is so valuable. Here are 15 people the rich have around them. Number one, a supportive family. Family is always put on a pedestal. They see the family as separate and superior to everything else, and this isn't something new. Wealthy families have put their own family above everything for centuries. That's why the richest families in Florence 500 years ago are still the richest families today. Wealthy individuals build their fortunes around their family, and every member pushes toward the same goal in their own way, because at the end of the day, who else is more trustworthy than your family? Family members have a massive unfair competitive advantage that spurs from the inherited trust they are bestowed with. Family should be your stronghold. No matter what happens, you should always be able to come back to your family and know that they are there for you. Number two, a close inner circle. These are the immediate connections who've stood the test of time. They're basically family without a bloodline. These are the people you trust, the people you let into your home, soul, and mind. They know and accept you for who you are. They'll be there for you on the rainy days with an umbrella and with a champagne glass when it's time to celebrate. One of the most valuable lessons we've learned in the past few years is how to measure success. Measure success by how many successful people you have next to you. The wake-up call came when we realized that you qualify as broke if everyone around you is broke except for you. Make your inner circle rich and they will return the favor. Number 3. Lawyer Outside of your immediate friends, any wealthy individuals need two powerful tools in their arsenal – law and finance. Here's something you probably don't know. A statistic from last year said that the number one way Americans see themselves getting rich is by suing someone wealthy and winning. For middle-class Americans, getting hit by a public bus and surviving, obviously, or minor physical damage during work could mean you hit the jackpot. The United States has more lawyers than all the rest of the world put together, almost 800,000 of them. 90 million lawsuits are filed every year. Most of them target companies and the wealthy, people who have something to lose. There's even a running joke between rich people that says, you're not really rich if you don't get sued at least once a month. People see you as a target. Even great guys like Will Smith get sued on average around 20 times a year. You need a good lawyer. They'll keep predators away and make sure you get paid. Number 4. Accountant the other side of the valuable tools rich use are people in charge of their financial optimization. That's how Trump ended up paying only $750 per year in taxes. You have to play the game by the rules. The thing is, there are so many rules you don't know about. Wealthy people can afford to pay someone to go through every single one and figure out ways to leverage that in their favor. Just a quick reminder, do you remember when the Panama Papers came out, revealing how all the rich people were moving their money offshore to dodge taxes and the story just went away like nothing happened? Well, actually the journalist breaking the story died in a mysterious car accident. It's actually super easy to pay little in taxes if you form a corporation. We've made several videos that break down how to do this. One of them is 15 reasons why the rich are getting richer, which you can check out by clicking in the top right corner. Number 5. Assistant As your wealth increases, the more you begin to truly understand the value of time, which is actually a great question to ask yourself right now. How much is your hourly rate? Take a moment to come up with a realistic and true number. With that answer in mind, you should never do anything that can be outsourced that's worth less per hour than your hourly rate. For example, we never return online orders that are worth less than our hourly rate. The time to go through the process is more valuable than the time itself, so we just gift or donate 
them. An assistant is a person whose hourly rate is lower than yours, but high enough to be trusted with valuable tasks. You all have the image of assistants in movies bringing coffee, but that's not what most assistants of wealthy individuals do. A great assistant will do two things for you. One, solve problems that you don't need to be bothered with, and two, keep your life on a schedule. That's all there is to it, time management and problem solving for issues lower than your hourly rate. Number six, a confidant. This is more of a function attributed to an individual rather than an actual separate person. For some, the confidant is their lawyer, the accountant, or the family friend, but everyone needs this person in their life. The function of the confidant is that of a buffer of secrets, intentions, and ideas. This is the person who you trust completely. They know your secrets, they know you completely, and they can provide honest feedback without judgment or the fear that the secrets will be leaked. The emotional burden released with getting something off your chest is something quite valuable for every one of us. But be very careful who you pick as your confidant, for this person has enough ammo to ruin your existence if they were to ever go rogue. Number seven, a nanny. The very first point on this list was family. Children are a crucial part of the family and as every parent knows, quite a time-consuming part. Here's the main philosophy we've identified among wealthy people when it comes to nannies and raising children. You bring people in to free time so you can be part of your child's education. With wealth, time gets scheduled differently and you want to make the most out of every interaction you have with your child. A nanny is there to fill in in the times in between. Nannies free up time to spend with your spouse, go on dates, keep the flame going, otherwise the entire family will suffer. There are many nannies who earn in excess of $200,000 a year and people will happily pay to get the best possible education for their children. Number eight, a financial manager. This happens inevitably once you hit a certain amount of money depending on where you live. It's at the point where you have more discretionary income than you know what to do with yourself. You're busy running one, two, three, four companies. The money is pouring in. You need someone to manage it for you. This is a person who is versed in the financial world and risk mitigation. Their job is basically to make you more money out of the money you currently have. They go out into the marketplace and find opportunities for you to invest in. They structure deals, provide detailed reports on your financial performance, and in some cases, they make sure your children don't blow through everything that you've built. Most wealthy families have a dedicated financial manager. An alternative are hedge fund managers, who basically do something similar, just not on an individual level. Number nine, a politician. Every rich person has a very conservative politician friend. The process is fairly simple. You have a friend that wants to be the change they want to see in the world. You have money. Money buys marketing and a good campaign, which gets your friend elected into office. When the time comes for your friend to weigh in on topics that relate to your activity, they vote on the outcome more favorable to you as a token of your friendship. In some cases, your friend will also grant you government contracts with the rewards being split between you two. In the developed world, what we just explained to you is called corruption. In America, it's called lobbying. Hey, if you laughed at that joke, make sure to hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Number 10, a mentor. A mentor is one of the most valuable people you can have around. Your mentor is someone who's walked the path you're on right now and can provide guidance on the smoothest way until the end. You don't need to be wealthy to have a mentor, but almost all wealthy people have one. How amazing is it to have a person you can go to for guidance and answers to questions that bother you and to know they have your best interest at heart? A quality mentor can save you 10 or more years of making mistakes on your own and millions of dollars in the long run. The amazing thing is, you no longer have to pick from the people in your city. Today you can have mentors all around the world. Matter of fact, we built Alux as a mentorship resource. We've had great mentors along the way ourselves, and all of their knowledge gets infused into these daily videos for you to thrive on. Outside of Alux, we strongly recommend you pick up Tribe of Mentors. The link is in the description. It's a book by Tim Ferriss who put down all the best advice from all the successful people he's come into contact with. We know some of you might not be able to find it in your local bookstores, so we reached out to our friends at Audible, and if you go to alax.com slash freebook, and it's your first time signing up, you can get the audiobook of Tribe of Mentors for free. A big thank you for supporting our community, Audible. 
Number 11. Private Banker most private bankers offer financial management services as well, but their main function is quite different. A private banker is the person who secures funding when you need it. They're basically a piggy bank for your financial projects. Need 10 million to build a new apartment building? Sure. You're low on cash and need 5 million to pay for your shipments? No worries, your private bank has your back. These people are willing to loan you money because you're rich. You have more than enough assets to cover your debts in case anything goes south. Plus, they trust you. You've done business together in the past, and it worked out great for both parties. Number 12. Bodyguard and Security these are the people that make sure you're safe from every perspective. They protect your life, your home, your family, your data, and more. The wealthier you are, the more money that goes into security. It also happens with fame. Just to give you a perspective on security costs, someone like Kylie Jenner spends between $300,000 to $400,000 every single month on security. It's really expensive to be famous and rich. Today, more so than ever, everything about us is online. We live online, we spend online, we bank online, and all of your activity is being monitored by basically everyone who's interested in seeing what you're doing, which is why we strongly recommend you use a VPN service that hides your online activity. With one click, you anonymize your digital fingerprint away from prying eyes. It also allows you to watch Netflix from other countries, stuff like that. We personally use NordVPN, and they have an amazing offer for our community right now. If you go to alux.com slash VPN, you can get two years worth of VPN services for only 89 bucks. That's a 68% discount, which is a shame because they were 1% from having the perfect discount number. But hey, we love their product, and if you use the promo code ALUX at checkout, they'll continue supporting the channel, so that's nice. Number 13, a car and art dealer. This is basically the person who figures out how to get whatever you need. You want the latest Ferrari? They'll get you on the list. You want the last iPhone? Popeye's fried chicken sandwich or the last pack of Mick Szechuan sauce available anywhere? They'll make it happen. The real value here isn't in the petty things that we joked about earlier. There's actually a very good reason. You see, rare items increase in value when they're together, just like apes. Having a vintage Rolls-Royce collection increases the value of the collection beyond the sum of the individual cars. If you have Basquiat's last five big pieces, the five-piece package is worth more than five really expensive paintings. Number 14. The Inside Man the inside man is quite a controversial figure in many circles. This is the person that peeks around corners and can let you know where things are headed. These are people who specialize in their industry. They know when times are changing and have an educated guess as to what is the most lucrative approach. The inside man is the one who comes to wealthy investors to tell them when the Bitcoin price is under $1,000. The inside man is the one who tells you that this new company called Uber is picking up some traction and brings you in on the deal. You get the point. This is fundamentally why we've always said your net worth is directly correlated to your net work. The inside man can make you rich. Number 15. A right-hand man. Last on our list is the right-hand man or woman or person for that matter. This is the person who's capable of keeping up the fort if you're temporarily out of the game. This is the person you rely on and knows almost as much as you do about what's happening on the day-to-day. -day. The right-hand man is a protege of the rich individual. It's the person groomed to take over at some point. Sometimes it's one of the children, other times it's someone who's been with the family or company since the beginning. The right-hand man has the skill set and knowledge to go out into the market and not only represent you, but do business on your behalf. If you want to be rich and successful in life, we strongly recommend you go through this list and figure out what pieces are missing from your puzzle. It won't happen overnight, but with time, you should get a complete formula. Which brings us to today's question. How many of these 15 characters have you unlocked in your life? You know we're going to be in the comments figuring out how far along all of you are. And for those of you always watching these videos until the end, we have a valuable bonus. The one that keeps you grounded. No matter how much money you have, you should never lose yourself in the process. Here's what we've learned firsthand. The more money you have, the more fame or success, the more yes men you get all around you. 
people are fascinated by your success. They either want some of the spotlight, some of the money, or whatever. The more successful you are, the less people there'll be to call you out on your bullshit. People will be scared to lose the relationship and out of self-preservation will go along or keep their mouths shut. It won't be long until you're filming a dead guy in a forest and nobody around you says anything. It won't be long until you're struggling with your mental health and nobody is coming to rescue you because you're a genius. You only need yes men when you're sitting on the other side of the table in a negotiation. Every other time, make sure you value truth and integrity above everything else. The paradox is, the people who will keep you balanced now that you're rich are the ones who are next to you when you are just starting out. Money just can't buy that. If you're willing to stay grounded as your wealth grows, please write the word roots in the comment section. Why? Because the highest trees also have the deepest roots. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question on our website, alux.com. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.